Hi everybody. Welcome Hi. back. Oh, hello. Thank you for the uh, all of a sudden the host just suddenly came in. Hey, perfect timing for the host to come in too because my computer just uh, hiccuped with power. My house just hiccuped with power and so my computer just rebooted. So now we're back. Everything's reset back up and here we go with what we were doing. All right. So once again, thank you for the raid and the host. Continuing on with the story. So you guys all hop into the lightning rail and uh, start traveling that way because it is the fastest and safest way to get from point A to point B. And you're trying not to um, get too far behind all of the bad things. So um, does anybody try, uh, travel commoner class or is everybody standard class or what's the uh, the plan on that? What was the final? Standard class? Standard class. Everyone's standard. Everyone's yeah. standard, 406 gold pieces per person, which is like, Holy crap, you guys just spent 2,000 gold pieces. You could have bought some really powerful magic item with that. But instead, here we are, traveling on a lightning Transit. rail. It's just like taking the train in the UK. Aww. Um, uh, sadness. Okay, so, uh, and then you guys appear in Rote, in the city of Rote. Now, once again, I have to ask, do you intend to spend any amount of time in Rote that's worth noting? Or fluff that noise, we're just going to uh, hop out and start walking. Not right Love now. Fluff that noise. Fluff. Unless you want to get mounts. <laughs> Nothing oh, like spending no, no, money wait. on transit. Yeah. Oh, now, right, now I think we're, I think we're just the montaging this travel, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Be a montage. Yeah, but yeah, this. Everyone, everyone thought I was crazy carrying around my my fucking <laughs> giant ass orc. Yeah, but it was crazy now. Still me, but you know. You still spent the four hundred gold. Less so. That wasn't my fault. That was because you, your lazy ass. So, didn't. where are we going, Scott? Uh, you see the map. Uh, you're heading to, uh, at the very least, Ardev, and then to Greywall, and you can find your way to the keep from Greywall. But Greywall, or you can even just right before Greywall, pull it up short and start heading south along that side of the mountain. Um, the closer and closer you get to Greywall, the more and more dangerous things become. There was also the fact that you guys might. There was also the idea that you might have been interested in trying to swing by Castle uh, Arcane, because Castle Arcane is the Bear's Den. Nope. No, so no. why is Grey Wolf dangerous? No, please. Go so ahead and uh, check the box under no. No, thank you. Instead, are we get? Are you guys getting mounts or not? I, we would have our horses the whole time. Wait, what horses? <laughs> we have, we came here with horses because we went up that bloody long old uh, thing I to said get you. on the boat. No, fuck it, I don't care. Horses, let's go. I'm uh, actually, hold on. What, Ollie? You <laughs> said we took our horses up to get the on the boat with uh, Kieran. You guys so we would have our crazy. horses with us. You guys said that was crazy. Because that's what you said. <laughs> that is what you said. I, I was there. I yeah. was, you said I was crazy. But no. no. That was that I was saying we had our horses. You you are not being uh, descriptive enough. When? When we were starting this whole montage of travel, never yeah. did you say we left our horses behind. So, we must have had our horses. I even pointed out that that's quite that uh, the, that our horses would oh, be I'm coming sorry, on I'm the sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Who had horses to begin with? You said we all took our horses. We all. Okay, but where did that horse come from? You all that own horses. That was the assumption right, that we had horses, horses from the, the keep or whatever. If none that of we us were... own horses, why would you say At you all? Yeah. I'll just, I'll just pay for horses. I don't even care. I think, How much are horses? I think I just assumed that you guys had some. I assumed incorrectly. Eric, I think 75 a piece in 5A. They are 75 Okay, a piece. I will not you buy you guys horses. <laughs> I don't no? love you that much. Jeez. I already spent right. four hundred dollars on travel. When I guess this travel took a whole lot longer because we wouldn't weren't using horses during it. All right. Yeah. Fine. I'll it's buy... just it's not what we were told. I'll buy a horse. It's gonna die soon anyway. We but... have to buy horses, sure, but that's only yeah. if we would take it the whole way, right? <laughs> we're not just taking the horses and just dumping. Them. If this is the horse that has been with me the whole time, and now we're at our dev, His name sure. is Bobby. Okay, so so you guys are in Rote because you took the lightning rail and an airship mm -hmm. and a uh, water boat, and you procure horses in Rote to continue on from there. You said you needed horses. <laughs> uh, 
We're we're already on the new thing, Ollie. <laughs> so wait, we've moved on. We have lightning rail, and now we have horses. Yes. We can get some Ollie grump up in here. <laughs> Ollie romp. I had my horse the whole time. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where travel is expensive. You you guys didn't have to deal with it the entire last season because we never left. Yeah, you all stayed in one city the entire time. Yeah. So remember, you guys remember the good old days? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start asking for favors of my house. Pretty damn. Still start working in the downtime. Yeah. So, um, with it, how long is it the travel from here, from Rote to uh, to the uh, to the fort? So, um, are you going to pull up short to Greywall or no? We're going to the fort on the edge of Greywall, right? You misunderstand what I'm asking. Yeah, I see, got you. You see I, the map? Yeah, but you didn't tell us why Greywall is dangerous. You just said it's dangerous. Oh, Eric, I, I'm sorry that Eric had explained. So, why Greywall is dangerous, uh, Stalbar has no clue it's dangerous unless somebody explains it to him that exactly. it's dangerous. Would, Kieran, Kieran doesn't really know much about Greywall. She's never been there. Why would she ever go there? It's, it's hundreds of miles landlocked. Why would she ever go there? Um, Luca um, has heard of Greywall and heard the stories of Greywall, but he certainly has never been there. He's sheltered. And Reich has also never been to Greywall, but heard way more stories because his family actually has dealings with Greywall. They I actually very Drawm much support the uh, the claim to uh, being an independent so, nation of Drom. I'm sorry, Eric. Go ahead. So I would essentially explain Drom is a nation built of creatures that are deemed monstrous by the uh, by the five nations. The a coven of hags, if I remember correctly, um, three specifically, uh, are the uh, the current the daughters leader, of Sorkel. Are current leaders yeah. of this uh, 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 of this place. They though their leadership is um, not not exactly contested. Well, rec yeah, it, it's also not like a super. They're not like super over they, they don't like interfere with stuff a lot gray wall in particular is a feudalistic des uh, despots you know nest it, it is pretty much the strong uh, the strong lead and everyone else hopes not to die um at least that's my understanding of it uh while hobgoblins are not super common in drama in general they are going to be far more common than any of the uh yeah red blood yeah, yeah. races somebody walking down the street is a hobgoblin is going to get like a, a typical glower uh, uh an elf walking down the street is going to get a i don't look much like an elf anymore just so, saying i'm just going to pre-warn you if we go into Droam, prepare for some shit to go down okay then we would skirt Greywall. Eric, do you remember who like, the, the mayor range. or whatever of, of Greywall is? Not off the top of my head. Um, it's an Illithid. Awesome. Like the ruler of Dro of a Greywall is an Illithid. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just skirt the mountain range and go to the fort, huh? See yeah. in the chat, someone says most citizens of Droem are gnolls. If I remember off the top of my head, is about 40% are gnolls, and then the rest of it kind of breaks down from there. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, um, I would have liked to avoid Greywall at all costs uh, and go directly to the fort. Okay, so um, by not going to Greywall, um, so by by but be, by being in Droem, laws there are a lot different than they are here. It's one of those things where, let's say you're accused of murder in Breland's. Well, you're arrested, and there's a trial, and you have to figure out like whether or not you're innocent or guilty, and so on and so forth, and blah, 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 blah. And there's evidence that's pulled up. People investigate the scene, da, 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 da. And Joam, you're accused of murder, and you just go, Yeah, but he had an ugly face, and I didn't like it. And they go, Oh, fair enough. His face was really ugly. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but dude, like his face has a bunch of stab marks in it, which is why it's ugly. But it, it wasn't that way before. But it's ugly, and he said it's ugly, so... <laughs> I don't judge. It's like, okay. That's okay. Yeah, you make your own laws here. That's, well, that's good thing unlawful. As long as you're not a nuisance to anyone in power, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. That's pretty much the way it goes. Like, I'm pretty sure Greywall has a population of 6% gargoyles. It's like, and I'm just pulling the number 6% on my ass because I know it's about there. But it's like, oh, lovely. 6% yeah. gargoyles. That's <laughs> lots of fun to have Spoiler around. Spoiler alert. The statues aren't statues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't touch them. 
<laughs> I'll touch the statues. Well, I mean, that's something that just right could just tell us when we're entering Drum. Yeah. Like, okay, <laughs> noted. Yeah. There's there's a lot of gargoyles here. Don't touch any statues, you see. Yep. So, anyways, um, do me a favor. Roll me a history with disadvantage check, Reich and Luca, um, and we will deal with the traveling now. Sure. Cool. Hey. You said history with disadvantage. Yeah, absolutely. Bada boom. <laughs> Actually, that's weird because it landed on nine, but it gave me a nine. Oh. That was weird. One of the things that you know yeah. is not only are the gargoyles common in Greywall, the city, they're also super common in Greywall, the mountain range, which is uh, a very uh, concerning thing. Yeah, because we have to deal with that. All right, well. Okay, good to know. The law is to make my own law, and gargoyles are. No, 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 no. You, you're confused. The law for drawing citizens is to make your own law. You're a red blood. You abide by their laws. My blood's right. actually black. Yeah, you can. I don't care what color your blood is on the inside. It's what they believe your blood color is. You oh, guys are not welcome so, here. So their laws are to make your own laws, but I'm not a citizen, so I abide by their laws, which is to make my own laws, which yeah. means... They Luca, let's laws. just say so you're you would have the Luke. same problems in Aaron. There, there are many laws here. They just don't abide by them. You do, though. Okay. There are laws. I will abide by them. Yeah. Don't worry. Hello. You'll be fine. Just don't talk to, interact with, or generally look at any of the populace, and we'll get through this fine. I'll be I'm sure going to go poorly. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get to where my family is. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Before we go any further, I have to ask, do you guys intend to travel at a normal pace on these horses or a faster pace? Because you're like, one, I want to get there, and two, fuck draw them. Okay, we're yeah, going up the yeah. range. I'm, I'm going to go with the ladder. What was that, uh, Ollie? We're going up a mountain range. Going faster would be dangerous. Oh, at the tail end when you're actually going up the mountains, but you can always go uh, at the base of the mountain, move at a faster pace, and then move slower when you're actually climbing the mountain itself. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool get there cool as fast that. as possible. Okay, so we'll that takes the, that takes from where you are on roads, traveling on horses at a faster pace. Uh, you guys are actually going to still spend 22 more days of travel. Uh, don't you remember shit. travel time? Oh, it's been so long. To get from Rotes to the uh, keep that we're referring to, which is Greywall Outpost, is going to be 22 more days of travel uh, to get from point A to point B. Now, the travel, which is a good portion of it, is just uh, traveling through Breland, and you are able to travel through Galth Spire, you're able to travel through Ardev, you're able to travel past where you know um, the road leads north to uh, Castle uh, Arakane. But don't worry, you, you're not traveling north to there. You're, you continue along this road to uh, draw on. Then eventually you come to an outpost. It's uh, an outpost with like a, a decent sized walls uh, on either side of the road, but not like actually blocking the road itself. There's a good number of guards and whatnot around these walls and randomly inside the road. Uh, there's a few ranger outposts leading up to this place and you can see a few of them after the walls as well. Um, and you go walking up to them, they're like, uh, this guard's kind of like waving you guys down as you're riding up just to kind of like get your attention and have you stop. And as you guys kind of pull off to the side and stop, uh, they look over all of you and say, um, <clears throat> and uh, you can see, uh, Luca, that amongst them, there is uh, one member of the House Deneath um, Shield, uh, what is it, Shield Bearers, right? Mm -hmm. Defenders, Guild. Defenders, Thank Defenders Guild. Defenders Guild. Uh, one member of the, the uh, House Deneath Defenders Guild, everybody else are soldiers of Breland. They kind of like hail to you. That one gives you like a uh, like a pleasant hello, but from a distance, Luca. Uh, mm -hmm. doesn't, he's like, he comes up to you and gives all chummy um, uh, immediately or anything like that. And they're like, um, hello, travelers. All right, come on over. Uh, paperwork, please. I'll provide it. Yeah. yeah, of course. All of you pull out your paperwork. They look it over like, and what's your uh, business and draw on? I'll look to Luca. <laughs> yeah. Is there confusion? Do you not know what you're we doing all, in Drum? We all just turn and look at Luca. <laughs> no, you all turn and look at me, and then I say, well, it turns out that we need to look into something going on in Drum that has to do with my house. And I'll, I'll look at the actual, the, um, the, 
House Matters. Depressed Sounds guilt. good. Thank you. Uh, yep. Writes it down next to the three of your names. House Matters, and then writes underneath underneath it. Um, mm -hmm. Well, then I wish you uh, safe travels. You're welcome to take a rest over here where it's nice and safe. And um, uh, I think we still have a little bit of stale bread over there and um, some, some watered down wine if you'd like to have uh, partake in that while you rest before you head back onto the road. Uh, you're welcome to rest over here. But otherwise, um, safe travels. Try not to get, uh, get yourself killed. I suggest you look to the skies. Understand me. Look to the skies more than anything else. That's where death will come from. I look at Luca <laughs> very pointedly this time. This is a lovely country. Look to the skies. That's where death will come from. <laughs> okay, you're too busy on that. All right, sir. Well, you know how it is. The light in the sky hides more than it reveals. Sir, I think you misunderstand exactly what we're here for. We're here for you, so to speak. I, I mean that not threatening at all. Of course. Yeah, mind I, you, he's not house beneath. He's uh, oh, a yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I I don't catch your meeting, I'm sorry. We're here to well, stay at the keep. Well this is a sovereign this is a sovereign nation of Droam, and uh even though you have been given direct orders to my understanding to vacate the premises here, uh you still have not have we, we we're not at the actual No, you're not there yet, Eric. This oh, is no, right. entering Droam right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Human Droam, right? Yeah, yeah fuck that. Droam. Like and he says death comes from Border. the skies. Border yeah. crossing. They're oh. warning us that entering totally, Droam. Totally totally misunderstood what we were doing. Oh yep. yeah, okay. all right. This is the end it. of this is the right. end of civilized lands. Past yep. past here, it's Droam, Shadow Marshes and the Demon Wastes. <laughs> or the depths of, of Eldeen Reaches, which I suppose is nice because then you can be killed by plant creatures instead of eaten by something else. You know what I mean? It's like, this is the no, end of no, civilization. Savage no, Lands is just the, the, the uh, west side of this map instead of the south. Mm -hmm. That sounds great, man. Let's, let, let's do that. Let's go, let's go like, kill, kill by fungus creature. That, that's what I'm about. No, you chose the lightning rail instead of getting oh, killed by fungus it. creatures. Yeah, that's damn right. it. That's right. See, right. you guys always missing the good shit. Yeah. All right. So he does say he does say to you, um, um, well, again, you're welcome to relax over there. I suggest you do so before you head into there. And I suggest you, um, uh, you might want to get to where you want to be quickly. Um, my suggestion is you move slowly and keep your eyes open. Fast will certainly get you out of danger quicker, um, unless you're riding into danger. Uh, slow will get you there in one piece. I'm gonna give him one of these. And with that, okay. And so you guys sit down and take a short rest before you travel on? Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Sure. Heating is warning. Do any of you uh, choose to act? Do you choose to change your 22 days travel time and elongate that to move uh, a bit quicker? So, uh, to move slower, <laughs> but, you know. I don't want to be in draw longer, but he makes a good point. So if we travel, uh, well, the way I'd like to travel is I'd like to send two people. Um, I don't no. know if we should do that either. No. We're not, yeah, not splitting apart. <laughs> We're <Yeah>. not splitting <laughs> apart. Okay, well then I say yes. We travel in the tight knit group. We travel slowly. Let's add. Why like, don't we? Uh... Why don't we travel fast? And if for some reason it draws attention, uh, we are your slaves. We're That's riding horses. Very well. You're both dragon We're coated horses. in swords. I mean, I could wear a glove. Kieran can't wear a face glove. <laughs> Trust me, I tried to design one. Face glove. Karen, put on your face glove. <laughs> <laughs> Just put your hair in front of it. Look, there are sure. plenty of places you'll go where the dragon marks will cause It's a problems. very strange What's hairstyle. Aaron's <laughs> character's hair is like sticking out of the bullshit. Just like cousin, cousin it. It's true. It's like, All right. Oh man, I didn't realize we were playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> We should probably move quickly. That's just yeah, my I, opinion. I, I agree. Move quickly. I, I, I disagree, but you know, once but again, we're going to ignore the advice that was given to us. Yeah, mm -hmm. what, this would only be the second time that Eric has given you know advice that we should have heeded. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, well, <laughs> and so and so, you guys do choose to move quickly instead. And as you choose to move quickly and riding your way through there as quick as possible, again, trying to make it so that that's, that's 22 day uh, travel time that we had discussed prior, and I'll tally up all the dates and everything sh in a moment, um, like probably after the stream when I can get other things working. So um, uh, after the 
uh, you guys are trying to get there as quickly as possible to make that happen. Um, by traveling quickly, what you do is you reduce your passive perception by five. And that leaves the party's highest passive perception at a nine. That's and with the cute. party's <laughs> highest passive perception being a nine, you guys are not aware. You're not looking up high enough. You're not, you know, you're, 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 at one point in time, <laughs> you're literally Skywatch riding stuff. along and you see a pack of hyenas off to the side. Fuck. Those are huge ass. Those are hyenas. Those are fucking gnolls. And that is a pack of them. Is that like 30 something gnolls over there? They're a good distance. What are they like over seven feet fucking tall? Holy shit, they're huge. Like, like they are not small creatures. And so you guys are distracted by that over there. And because they're so distracted by that over there, you only last moment start to hear the faint singing magical melody that no. that starts oh, to play and starts to pull at I your heartstrings you guys you guys start to hear this exciting invigorating noise but before we worry about will saves before we worry about sorry wisdom saving throws or anything like that happening ollie who are you where are you from why do we care and welcome to the chat he ollie. needs a minute to collect himself <laughs> What are you yeah. doing? Uh, <laughs> stuff. I'm Ollie. You can find me on uh, Twitch at Ollie Rant or Ollie Smith, wherever I do streams too. I do a D and D stream on Wednesdays that Scott is on, and it's great. You should all watch it. I also do art streams. I've done all the character art for this stream, and it's good. Those are on Wednesdays and Tuesdays at 9 p.m. BST, and on Sunday I'm gonna be playing. Mario Rabbids! Um, they're basically Nintendo's excuse for XCOM. And it's gonna be great. I heard about that. Oh, that's it, so it's awesome. It's gonna be great. <laughs> so, uh, I, I do a lot of stuff, and you should check it all out. Aaron, who are you? Why do we care? Uh, well, I don't know why you care, but I'm here. I play every Friday. You can find me on Twitter, um, at Rinson, and yeah, that's all. William? You can mainly find me on Instagram, but I'm also on uh, Twitter and all everything else, really. Uh, at Will Call Brewing. And Kunsai. I'm at, on Twitter at, at Kunsai64. I sometimes say shitty things to Scott on Twitter. Mostly I just retweet stupid stuff. <laughs> but feel free to follow me. Tweet stuff at me. That'll be fun. Um, yeah. But you should definitely watch all these streams because it's hilarious. Aaron and Frank are talking about their surprise that Aaron sells a living character. Don't worry. Yeah. The start of next session could very well change oh, good. that. that could oh, be good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Reich will be standing over her corpse going, told you. <laughs> Remember when we said this would be a political uh, chapter? Yeah. yeah. yeah I guess Harpy is a politics. Right, dead body out of, out of draw -air. And finally, um, uh, I am Delric. You can find me uh, Tuesdays, though not for the next couple of weeks, uh, on Lost Initiative. Thursday, though not for the next, I think, one week. Um, Lost Initiative, Twitch. Um, let's see. You can find me here on Wednesday mornings and Friday nights. You can find me on Ollie's on Wednesday evenings. I play some video games. I do some YouTube. For the most part, I'm just a big dweeb. All right. It was a pleasure hanging out. Um, or hit me up on Twitter. Hit the Discord button down below. You know, down there. You see that Where down the there? Get that down there. Discord. Boop. And hang out. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next week. I'm super excited about uh, seeing where this goes. Um, a lot of fun. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>